So this is a V-Prep with a backing strip. So that's a ceramic backing, which is stuck on the back with an open prep. So this is the first point of call when you come to routing for practice. So 6013s, 120 amps, and we're putting the first run straight in the bottom. So we're controlling the amount of heat that we're putting into that so that we're not blowing a massive hole in, but we're penetrating right the way through and the ceramic is holding our well pull, giving us reinforcement on the rear. Maintaining that drag angle is key because we are trying to keep the flux out of that hole. If the flux gets in there too much, it'll push the metal out of the way, giving you lack of fusion. So we're coming towards the end of that run now. We've got a bit of a runoff plate that we just drop down and drop onto. We clear the slag off and then we just give it a quick tickle with a grinder just to make sure that there isn't anything left on the surface that's going to cause any inclusions for our next run. So moving on to our hot pass, our second run we're putting a slight weave on. And we're still keeping it 120 amps, trying to maintain that drag angle, keeping that at the back of the well pull. We notice at the start we've got a bit of magnetism and it's just trying to push it to the other side, giving us potential lack of fusion issues, but we maintain a good steep angle and keep it at the back of the well pull. So run done, deslag clean up, wire brush, off to the next run. And then the next pass, as it's too wide, we're going to split this. So we're going to split it into two. So now we've still got a drag angle of 15 degrees and we're going to drop slightly to the left, pushing the rod up the side of the side wall. So with that run complete, descaled and dressed, we move on to our second pass of that layer. So as we've left ourselves enough room, we can still get that run into the bottom of the prep. If we put that run too tight, then that then creates an issue. And then we're just filling it up, doing exactly the same. So next layer, still up against the side, slightly kicking towards the side. But what we're going to do on this run, because this is our flushing pass, we're not actually going to completely flush it. We're still going to leave a slight edge of the prep which will help us follow when we come to capping so we're just doing exactly the same thing as we did on the layer before stacking the runs but not leaving a tight gap on our penultimate run So run done, now we've got a peel on so we know we're doing something right, easy way of deslagging, flick flick, jobs a carrot. So next run, still the same, laying them down the side of each other, covering half of that run, slight angle towards the run that were previous that we've done. Run done, another peel. Easy clean, wire brush, moving on to the cap. So cap, we're gonna follow that edge that we've left, burning it away, giving us something to follow, keeping a nice straight edge. So maintaining our 15 degree angle, keeping that slag at the back, working our way down. So that run done, bit of a chip wire brush off to the next run so same again slight angle pointing towards the run half and half laying up the side of that run keeping as straight as we can So run done. So we're literally just laying beads one after the other after the other. But that's what we get paid for. This is why we've got to be good at it. So we're just half and half, same thing, all the way down. Just maintaining a nice travel speed, keeping those ripples nice and even. 
because when you are out in the big wide worldy world things could be a lot thicker than this so you could be spending days and days throwing rods into a prep so basics is always the same so you're always stacking you're always keeping that drag angle the same maintaining that slag at the back trying to achieve that perfect weld with no slag inclusions no lack of fusion because if you stick a defect in there that cheeky little man with the ndt x-ray is going to find it for you so here's the final weld clean that sucker up so this is welding 1g flat now we're going to put it in the vertical and show you how to defy gravity in the video on screen now as always thanks for your support and we'll see you on the next video